feather one's nest didn't fall that nice last time I dropped it. It fell in a nice, really pretty spiral. Feather one's nest to supersize your business. Sharon Hornell, I'm here. And our idiom for today for our business related idiom is to feather one's nest. Now I've heard this expression before. I don't think I've ever used it. And for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's been around since the mid 1500s, probably sooner, ever since it was discovered that birds would use feathers to build their nests. A lot of different types of birds do that because it makes a soft place for their eggs and their hatchlings, soft, warm, and protected. And even some birds will pluck out their own feathers in order to line their nests and make it a more comfy, cozy environment for their their young hatchlings or their or the little tiny birds or their eggs that they're laying. Also for protection and to ward off other creatures. I found this feather in one of my walks in the park. I always like it when I find feathers because it's usually a reminder to me that even if bad stuff's going on in our lives, good things are happening too. And we need to focus on the positives and the good and the things that are going right in our life, not on the things that are kind of chaotic and crazy. Because those things happen all the time for most all of us. So since the mid 1500s, this idiom has been around. It means, of course, to look after one's own interests, especially when it comes to material goods, things like money and resources. You know, we buy insurance for a reason because we want to protect the things that we have accumulated and earned in our life, both for ourselves personally as well as for our businesses. Uh, it means that, and we go about doing this by uh, working hard or exploiting resources was the definition. Now, I don't think that we have to exploit anything, especially resources, but uh, that is the definition according to one website. Uh, it's based on the fact that birds, you know, used to line their nests and uh, <clears throat> it, like all idioms, has a negative side, right? A lot of times it's used in a derogatory way to say somebody's feathering their nest or taking advantage of someone less fortunate than them in order to take care of themselves, their own material gains. Now there's probably a sense of, and a lot of people I think have this resentment of business owners and entrepreneurs that they are just taking advantage of other people and, and looking out for their own best interests. And that is usually not true. Most business owners are awesome, amazing people. There are some bad apples, just like in every industry, every profession. Think politicians. A lot of politicians feather their own nest when they're in office and not in a nice way on the backs of taxpayers. And to me, that's not a very nice way of feathering our nest, right? Writing laws that protect themselves, giving themselves advantages, not having to pay back loans and investments and things, not being held accountable to the same rules as the rest of us. That is all ways of looking out for their own interests, but not necessarily in a super positive way. We've seen the same thing happen in every walk of life. We've seen CEOs or business leaders that have taken advantage of the people that actually are building their business and working for them. We see it in, uh, I've seen it in my own personal experiences. Some people that I've partnered with and worked with were more interested in feathering their nest, taking care of themselves, than in actually serving the greater purpose and the greater good and making the world a better place, which is why we were building the business in the first place. And I'm no longer working with those people, right? Because it's not a core value match for me. So curious if you've heard this expression, if you've used this expression, because that I don't think I've ever used it with, except for discussing it here uh, because I think more people have a negative connotation to that particular idiom than a positive one. At least that's what came up for me and I like to think I'm a positive person. Uh, I'd love to know your stories about feathering our own nest. I believe that as entrepreneurs there is a sense of we need to build something to take care of ourselves and our family and those we love and care about and those causes we care about first. And that's not feathering your nest, that's living to me, I define that as that's what we're here for. That's our purpose. We're here to make the world a better place. And that involves taking care of ourselves and those we love and care about first and foremost. All right. Have an awesome day. And I will, of course, see you tomorrow. Another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow and build your business? Have a great day.